Hello and welcome to another episode of the Blender Developer Sneak Peek. My name is Thomas Beck and I'd like to present you episode 4 already. This time is uh, going about tabs, tabs in Blender. That's a very new feature, I think uh, yesterday evening uh, it came into trunk. And um, apart from that, I'd like to show you how the value input in Blender has changed because we now have the possibility to enter almost every Python expression and um, it's quite uh, different from the previous version, but very cool. So let's just dive into the current official version, the 2.69 version. And um, I'd like to dive into this version first because I'd like to show you what the current problems were that we have with the uh, tool panel like here, like you see here. And um, that's more or less the cluttering that we got here. So when you got several panels with some um, um, add-ons activated, then the really big problem is that we got several panels all need to be expanded. And when they are expanded, it's more or less an endless scrolling, permanently scrolling that you are doing to access several features. And so this is really cumbersome and we searched for solutions to make this even better in the new version. So that's it for the old version. Let's now jump into the new one. So here we are in the newest version now. And uh, if you'd like to try this, you have to download a version that is not older than half a day. I think it's uh, it was in trunk since yesterday evening, so you should be safe to have an, to download a new version that is from today. And uh, let's just look at the hash. It's this hash if you'd like to have this specific version. And in this version, when we um, uh, look uh, look at a two shelf, then we are seeing this. We have tabs here, create, basic, relations, animation, physics, the crease pencil tab and the history tab. And all those tabs are um, user definable. So uh, those are all created from Python scripts. So to say if you got an add-on that you'd like to have displayed on a, on a tab, then you simply have to uh, insert a BL category string and it's immediately, immediately shown on this tab area here. So this reduces the scrolling a lot and um, as always when I show so, such uh, uh, development versions, please bear in mind that this is a um, development snapshot so I think that we got that we will be in the final version uh, with two columns here that we uh, are separating some tools from uh, from each other that we are uh, introducing some new tabs and so on so please bear in mind that this, that is not this is not final and uh, as always as you can do in the completely complete blender uh, user interface by holding control and your mouse middle mouse button you can uh, zoom in here too so that's maybe a bit better to see now in the video and this is i think it for the tabs um, that's really not as big as maybe volumetrics or something like that but um, it will uh, clean up the user interface a lot when we uh, got to the got got to the point that we are uh, reorganizing all the stuff in the tool panel and Jonathan Williamson is already on it so be assured then that this will uh, really be cool later on and when you just think you got all your topics handled, then you're seeing that there is one missing. And in the case of tabs, we got one other feature that is really cool. 
then that is pinning. Say you are on the basic tab here and those tools you'd like to have when you um, when you change tabs then it's as easy as just hitting the right mouse button there select pin or click with alt and your left mouse button in the header and when you then change the uh, tabs now then this object operations panel that you just pinned stays there so you got the new panel here and all the pin tab tabs that you uh, had uh, pinned previously like when we needed the animation tab too then we would simply pin that go to create and then you see there's the animation there's the object operations tab here and the primitive add primitive tab that is originally uh, existing at the create tab so that was the feature I forgot and now let's go on. For the last part of this uh, Blender developer sneak peek, I'd like to show you the new value input in the uh, or in the newest version. So um, for that to um, to demonstrate, I'd like to go to the current official version first and um, show you how uh, value input was handled there. So when I'd like to say rotate this Suzanne head then I could do it like like every every rotation before with the uh, track ball but when I'd like to enter some values then I have to type that in and if I uh, made a mistake then I would have to um, hit backspace and type another value but I couldn't do some something like rotate Sinus, uh, sine, <laughs> sinus is German, sorry, uh, sine um, 2 or sine 30 or something, or cosine 30. And um, this, those are all things that are very easy in Python. And as the UI is uh, co completely written, written in Python, it was very near to um, make it accessible some, some, somehow. And so we got uh, in the new Blender version exactly this possibility. And I'd like to show you this now. That's here, the newest trunk version. So we'd like to have our Suzanne let's say rotate it and um, let's enter one two three for now and what we can do now is for example hit control and minus then it will invert it or we could say okay I'd like to have it uh, um, divided by this value so I hit control and divide so it would say 1 divided by 1, 2, 3. Or I could simply um, navigate in this value with the cursor, with, with the arrow keys, and delete some values here. So let's say I'm deleting all. And then I'm uh, entering sine 200 enter. So rotate, rotate, sine 45 and the value that is uh, resulting from my expression is shown after the equal sign. So that's really helpful and makes entering complex math terms very easy. So that's another thing that is really cool in the new release and I'd like to thank Bastien, Bastien Montan. I hope that this um, name was spelled correct now. Bastien Montagne for it um, for this cool feature. Thanks Bastien. So this concludes the Blender developer sneak peek number four.
I hope that you learned something from this episode again and if you like if you want to hate or something else with this video then please do so add us on Google Plus on Vimeo or on Twitter and keep blending see ya